okay in this part of the uh, lecture we are going to cover uh, this advanced topic filter and create report with macros and to uh, practice uh, we, we shall need a file from our website I have already provided the link for it that is lecture 20 pivot table X uh, let me show how we can download this file this is lecture 20 on the uh, computer applications page courses computer applications and then lectures and then we go to lecture number 20 lecture 20 pivot table so I'm using this file I've already downloaded it uh, and I have opened it so once you download and open this file please move on to sheet number one there are several sheets we will work on sheet number one okay so I'll uh, name this sheet as data and I'll create one more sheet I'll create uh, I'll uh, rename that double click it and rename that as report that's okay okay on this report sheet um, I leave few lines empty and would like to start from here so there is um, cell number a6 so we'll start from here so let me put some color on it okay and on the data sheet <coughs> in column j i would like to uh, create a data validation list from the uh, let's say we want to create a report for different stores so I uh, what I'll do is to go into data validation and uh, sorry go into data and then data validation from the data validation um, on the setting tab under the allow title select list and the list source would be the store variable the store column so I click on the first cell then control shift down arrow key and then okay and okay so what uh, this has done it, it might it it will create a drop down menu from where we can select uh, different stores and since some of these stores have spaces like south is twice but don't worry it will not matter much okay now <coughs> before recording a macro I would like to perform these operations manually so that uh, you can see what we are going to do but then we'll repeat the same process using a macro so what I'm going to do is to create a report for South store and for that uh, I'm going to use a filter and then filter out all other observations leave click just south and from here <coughs> I'll select the filter data rather control shift down 
and then copy and the filter I, I would go to the report sheet click here the and then paste okay so this is our report for the south store and i would like to perform this using a clickable button also uh, the button will first of all once we click the uh, button here it will filter the data based on the criteria provided in this drop down menu and then copy the data from here and paste it here but before pasting the macro will make sure that any previous data available on this sheet is actually deleted from here and the new data is pasted <coughs> also for this report i would like to have some title here let's say um, sales report for store south so if it, if i'm creating the report for store north the report title will be a sales report for uh, store north so this is what we are going to do in the macro so before uh, recording a macro i'll make sure that my data is clear uh, cleared from here so any available data is deleted so select all these rows and delete make sure that we have cell a7 selected let's go back uh, remove the filter and <coughs> now we are in a position to record this macro I'll make this macro as an absolute macro uh, so that uh, we it can be repeated on the same location over and over again okay so uh, let's go to the developer tab remove these relative references because the macro is absolute macro so it is now removed um, record macro and i'll call it make report I'm not assigning any uh, shortcut to it because um, I'll be doing that with the help of a button. Okay. Just for safety purposes, I'm clicking on B1 and then A1 so that uh, these references are stored in the macro. Now I'm going to data menu. Whatever I'm going to do from here onward it will be part of the macro so f even filtering will be part of the macro now i am selecting only north store from this and here is the trick uh, <coughs> if you are not sure how many rows and how many columns do we have in our data and you want to uh, you want the macro to automatically select all available data in your data uh, range then this is the trick control shift right it will ensure that all data to the right of the uh, current cell will be selected then control shift down it will ensure that all data below the current cell including the current cell will be selected so this is what we want to do uh, since the filter data we don't know how many rows are there so we cannot use an absolute reference for that um, we would like to automatically select all available records so control shift right so you can see it has selected all available data to the right from column a to column g and now control shift down and it selected almost 922 or something like that so all available data has been selected so copy and now i'm going to the report sheet and i am pasting it 
on again to make sure that we have appropriate cell selected so I'm clicking on B and then on A this will become part of the macro um, now the data is being uh, pasted in a report sheet on cell SA1 so selected it okay so now I'm going back to A7 and here I would like to add something uh, as you know that we can combine contents of uh, cell or two so I'm making part of the macro double quotes and then report on on the and double course so this text is now a separate entity we want to merge it with uh, the store name so I am putting an ampersand symbol and this cell so since this cell will always contain the store name I am picking the value from here so the con the report title will dynamically change if we have new data so this cell again I'm adding um, some text so and text space report on north region so I'm adding region and double quotes so enter so now the whole text reads as a report on the and we picked the north from cell a, a uh, sorry c8 and then we added region so let's make it a bit bigger so that it looks like a report title of the report okay and make it bold and it's it looks all fine to me if you're not comfortable with the with the uh, li the, this blue line you can remove it and you can put underline but at the moment I would like to uh, keep it as it is so I'm going back to select a7 and then I'll stop the macro stop recording okay since this is an absolute macro each time when we run this macro it will uh, create a report on the north region uh, in the next uh, uh, exercise we shall make it dynamic we shall make it dynamic so that uh, the report is generated uh, for different uh, stores for example if I select south and then click a button here it should create the report for south region so let's now add some clickable button to it insert uh, shapes and let let's add this shape and let's call it generate a report and align it in the center horizontally and vertically and let's make the font a bit bigger that's good okay uh, right click assign macro and the macro that we just recorded was mac report okay and it should generate the report yes it generates that report even if we delete it 
if you have noticed I've selected the blue line since the blue line is not part of the macro even I can delete this one since the blue line is not part of the macro it will not be regenerated so okay we will also make changes to the macro so that the filter is removed inside the macro now uh, at the moment the filter is not removed so I have removed the filter and I click it so we create a report on the north region so now this macro is uh, absolute macro just like I said because it copies and pastes the data from the same location onto the uh, same location from where we recorded it also the uh, title of the report is dynamically generated and the blue line we deleted it it was not part of the macro so it's no more there um, so in the next video we shall add some more features to this macro for example removing the filter uh, making the macro so that it picks value from here and generates report for not just for the north region let's say we want to generate east a report for the east region and then we click generate and the report would be generated for the east region so that will be part of our next uh, exercise for time being I would like to uh, practice on this thank you